Isn't that my experience? My experience in any given moment is a direct relationship between what my attention is on and the quality or the content of that, whether it's in, and it's always in thought. It, there's nothing outside of us the way it seems because we experience our thoughts about things and people and events. So my, everything, whether the principle of the, the invisible eternal is everlastingly on my side or that invisible eternal of darkness, of constriction, of conflict, it all depends upon my awareness of the existence of these things and then based on experience in life to be able to put, choose in favor of the light, to choose in favor of giving my attention. Oh, boy, I wish. Think about what I'm saying. What problem do any of us have? What problem do you have, Dr. Dickstein, apart from the kind of thoughts and feelings that you're dragged into to visit that, you, that turn you into a victim of their very existence? Mm -hmm. Th that's it. Yeah, if I'm objective, I don't have a problem. But when I'm in it, that's all I see. That's it. So how do I get into the mud? It's all by Come thinking. Come into my right? house. <laughs> <laughs> so thinking about myself. You know, there's a, uh, the ancient story of, uh, of Dracula, of, of the vampire. Mm -hmm. You have to invite the vampire yes. in. He stands at the door. He goes, good evening. <laughs> Dr. Ellen. <laughs> May I come in? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ellen. <All> right. <laughs> I forgot. <All> right. <laughs> That's how it works. But we're not, the, when, when that thought presents itself, it presents itself with all of the reasons why we need it in our lives. And the self that needs those thoughts in its life needs it because it has to have a past, has to have the content of what took place in order to keep itself in existence. Mm -hmm. Light has no past. Mm -hmm. The eternal principle of what is pure and right doesn't end or begin. It just is. And what I want more than anything for people to understand is that this is, this is experiential. This isn't stuff to talk about, you know, at a cocktail party. I mean, this is the real thing, the real deal. I'm sitting at home, and, and, and someone makes a phone call to me, and, it's, and, and you can feel, you know, you get a call, and you can feel it, especially, uh, what do they call it? Telephone solicitors. Mm -hmm. Talk about darkness. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the world, there it is. Good evening. <laughs> I've got a deal for you. Uh, and, 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 you know, the first thing you want to do is what? You get negative. And then this poor Schlemiel, whoever he is or she is, you know, they, they, you know, I'm not saying that they're right, but they're just doing the best they know how to do. And when the best we know how to do is to punish someone who doesn't know better than what they're doing, what kind of planet do we have? It's called Earth. Mm -hmm. And it can change when we begin to do the interior work of putting the principle before the mechanical power of recognizing in the moment that no matter what it is, and this, is, and this has to happen to you someday, there's a certain fire that has to get set, that truth will set a fire in a human being. And that flame, that light, is what automatically dismisses the darkness. Not a person trying to be more powerful than the negative thought or feeling, but the pure recognition by that understanding that it is not a power, has no place, and cannot produce what it promises should you invite it in. Mm -hmm. And then you have to do the work of it. The work of putting the principle, the eternal principle, the invisible justice, the true law, before the false law, before that which leads us astray in relationships and everything else, means that in the moment I have to make a deliberate choice. Do I, put, do I, do I cling to what I'm handed by those negative thoughts and feelings, or do I recognize that I've been handed heartache, even though it promises pleasure, and deliberately let it go? and enter into an unadulterated present moment. A moment in which the light is doing for me what it's intended to do. It isn't making me powerful. It's taking me out of the power that I was put under when I mistakenly engaged the dark forces, the dark thoughts and feelings. Mm -hmm. See the difference? It's subtle. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, let's connect this with invisible justice. And I, I think you've explained it all, but the choice 
that I make every moment is what I sow, and what I reap is either the pain that my unawareness brought about or the freedom that comes from letting go of, of that past and just living on the edge of the present moment. We can bring it down to earth, Ellie, like that. 